Hello everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and welcome to Fun Finds Friday number 10. So this week I went to Walmart. I got something from Amazon. A thrift, a charity thrift shop that's local to me and a huge Goodwill haul. So let's just jump into it. I got, you guys, I spent $70 at Goodwill. I've never spent $70 at Goodwill. However, a bunch of it was clothes for my kids and I'm gonna plow through them really quickly uh, so we can just get through it and get to the home decor because there's a ton of that and I'm so excited. Okay, my lighting is going wonky. I, every time I sit down in the frame, it goes super dark. I think it's because I'm wearing a dark colored blue shirt and it's reading the light. It's just my camera's getting confused. Bear with me, I'm trying. Okay, so first up I found these boots at Goodwill. They, I believe they are Life Stride brand. Um, I've got them for my daughter Josie. Yes, they're Life, Side, Life Stride brand. They were $8.99 and I got 25% off with my coupon that I always find on the bottom of my donation receipt. And they just look like this, really nice quality boots. Let's see a close up. Oop, too far. There we go. Okay. Got those. Okay. For my son, he always steals my husband's heavyweight, uh, like, flannel shirt. So I picked him up this one, and he, uh, it's so nice. It's got the feathering, not the feathering, but, like, the faux sheep's wool or whatever. And it is from the uh, Wrangler brand. So, and I, he, I already showed this to him. He is super excited about it. So I grabbed that one so he will stop stealing his father's because he is tiny and my husband is an extra large. So <laughs> that is a size small and it's way too big on him, but he likes them big and baggy. Okay, these shirts were all $3.99 a piece, I believe. Yes, and they are, um, so Goodwill buys blind palettes of whatever. They're just, they don't never know what they're on, is on the palette um, from Target and they um, mark them up. So whenever you have a coupon, they don't allow coupons to be used on the Target items. And they're always pink or, or not pink, purple or red tags, and those are always Target. So they are $3.99. I got him a few of them to grow into. Um, these are the Goodfellow brand. There's the pattern there, and they're just really nice brand new shirts for $4. So got that one. Got a simple gray one here. He's pretty excited about these shirts. He loves layering them. Got a simple gray one, as well as this one. <clears throat> this one's like the navy and the red and the gray. Has a hint of gold in there. Love it. And then to layer with it, I found this old navy shirt. It was $2.99. I did get 25% uh, off that. I got them like this just navy, old navy <laughs> raglan type shirt. It was, I said it was $2.99, so I paid $2.25 for it. Now, the kids' clothes I went on Thursday, and they're always half off on Thursday, and I got Josie a few things. I picked her up this Joe Fresh, uh, what is it called? Um, <sighs> chambray shirt. There we go. By Joe Fresh, it was $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it, and it's just a really nice piece to layer. That'll go in her capsule wardrobe for fall. I picked up this, what brand is this? Okay, so this is Cat and Jack, but it did have a blue tag, so somebody donated it. Um, and this is in the next size up, it was $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it, and it's just this nice heavyweight hooded sweater in the chambray, or not chambray, ombre, <laughs> um, heathered blue, oh, it's just gorgeous. You keep it nice and cozy. Another great layering piece for fall. And then I was really excited because I found her this Under Armour. Under Armour is always really marked up, so I was excited to get it on a Thursday. It was a blue tag, it was $6.99. Um, and this is, did I say it's in the next size up? All these are in the next size up. $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for this Under Armour shirt, so that was a great deal. I bought 
two items of clothing for myself off that blind palette from Target. Again, it's they're both a new day um, leggings. I got one in a navy color. Just simple leggings. It has a nice wide band at the top. Um, I don't wear leggings out of the house usually unless it's like under a skirt or something like that. Um, or under a pair of jeans in the wintertime with like the holy jeans, you know. Distressed. Uh, but I also got them in this like charcoal gray. I was looking for a pair in black. They didn't have black. So I just went with these two pair. And oh, I didn't see the price. The price was $3.99 each. That's a lot of clothing. So guess what? All the rest from Goodwill. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hop over. I'm going to leave the rest from Goodwill. Because it's all home decor. And then I'm gonna, I've got a couple of items of clothing from Walmart. So I'm going to do those right away. Um, Josie has, they had, their clearance is going on right now. So run if you need some stuff in the next size up for your kiddos. Josie, um, I got her the next size up in bras. I'm not gonna show you those for her privacy, but they also had, they were on sale or on clearance for $5 and they're two packs, so it was a great deal. And then they had the nice little joggers um, on sale as well. And these were on clearance for $3. They were originally six, so half price. So I got her two pairs of those, navy, and she got black. So just some good, warm, cozy pants for lounging around in the fall. And they are, of course, in the net. They're in 10, 12. She wears a 10 now, so I'm assuming they're going to be a little big on her because uh, 12 just falls off her. So, okay, now I'm officially done with clothing items. Okay, I got one more item at Walmart, uh, and it's for a project. So I figured I would show it because it's I can't wait to try this project. I'm so excited. I'm showing you the wrong side. And it's just this four pound box of plaster of Paris. I think it was like $3. So I was looking for a smaller box because I only need a few tablespoons, but um, yeah, I got the big old box. Okay, so one item from Amazon, it's the Tombow brush pens. I didn't get to Michael's. I didn't have a 60% off coupon. They were only on sale for $17. Even though I did have a 20% off, I was like, for one thing, eh, I'll order them from Amazon. So I got them in the landscape colors and I, because I really wanted those greens that are in here. So that was exciting. And all the rest is home decor. So this is a Christmas item that, and it looks like it's handmade. I'm not sure if it is, but it's cross stitch quilted table, table runner. It was $2.99, so I paid $2.25 for it. And it is just this. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so I'm really excited about that. So the next thing, you have to keep an open mind because right now it looks 80s country but it's a hand painted cardinal picture and I think it is gorgeous by Fern B, whoever that may be. Um, it's in acrylic painting and it looks like this. And I think it's gorgeous. So, uh, I love it. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is either, it's just framed, you know, like this. It was $1.99, so I paid $1.50 for this. I have a feeling it's an eight by 10 and a five by seven, um, but I won't know until I take it apart to see if the, the canvas goes all the way to the edge or not. But I wanna see if it does go all the way to the edge. Just flip the mat around to the white side and then paint the frame white. And I think that would be gorgeous on my hot at Christmas time. Oh, I can't wait to do that. <laughs> so that is what I got. Um, for, that's my thoughts on that. I'm so excited to do that. So my best friend's a genius. <laughs> Not really, but I think she is. Uh, and she just, we went shopping, oh gosh, a while back. and. She's like, I am so tired of not, you know, nobody knowing whose glass is whose. So she just went to Pier 1 and bought a bunch of different glasses in the same shape, but different patterns, if that makes sense, uh, for as her glass collection. So she can just add to it when she wants to. 
And I said, I looked at her and said, I am going to do that. You are a genius, but I'm going to do it at Goodwill. <laughs> so I am going to do that. I haven't started it yet. I haven't decided on what kind of glass I want, but I also have um, a very dwindling coffee cup collection. I thrifted a whole set of matching white Gibson coffee cups uh, last summer, I think, and I have two left. I don't know what my family does with these things. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and collect these little Corningware cups. Um, it doesn't matter the pattern. It doesn't matter the um, color. I just want a bunch of different Corningware cups. They were This one was 99 cents a piece. I was really excited that it was still there because I had thought about it. I actually saw this and a pitcher, um, the matching little like, like creamer pitcher, at the same time, and I almost got them that day. I put them back, and of course regretted it ever since. And every time I see this, I'm like, oh, I should get this, and then I don't. This time I got it, and I've got a plan. So I am going to be starting a mismatched Cordingware coffee mug collection. Now, I'll still have to have a couple of huge coffee mugs for my husband because he isn't going to be drinking out of this, but I can tell you right now, I will because I like my coffee hot. <laughs> and usually if I drink a big old mug, it takes me forever. And because I've got, I'm a mom and I've got a million things to do, I know you can relate if you're watching this video. Um, so my coffee always ends up cold. Um, so I am excited to have these because my coffee will not go, be cold. I can just get like 15 cups of coffee. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so another thing I found, which was pretty exciting, was a family member's pattern of silverware. She recently just bought one spoon on eBay to finish, because um, she's had her pattern for a really long time, but um, to finish her pattern, you know, just as a replacement, and it was $20 for one spoon. But I went on eBay, or I went on eBay, no I didn't, at Goodwill, and they had a whole slew of it for 29 cents for each piece and there were 31 pieces there now there are a lot of like pickle forks and serving pieces in here but there's also some spoons and knives and so um, I picked this up for my family member and I am excited to give this to them so yay so it works out to be about 10 bucks right there for silverware like 998 or something like that okay now this just about floored me because I always look for this not this style specifically but this brand and I've never even seen it in person before and I just found one at Goodwill for $3.99 so I paid $3 for it and this is a McCoy a real McCoy um, fluted bowl and I can't even believe it. I, I'll show you the little brand on the bottom. If it'll focus, I hope so. Um, but I found a McCoy pottery dish. <laughs> like what? I've always been looking for these, specifically the green plant dishes. I love them. I love them so much. We've never even seen one in person. But, um, <laughs> I found a McCoy piece and I was really excited. I picked it up because I liked the shape of it and I was, and I was gonna buy it anyway um, if the price was right, but I flipped it over and it was a McCoy and I was like, well, that's not going anywhere but in my cart. Then I found, or maybe I found this first, I'm not sure, but this is a Fiesta set, a sugar and creamer set. It was $9.99 and in this, it's like a cornflower blue or cornflower blue and you can see the Fiesta right there. Do I have it upside down for you? Nope, it's right. Okay, so it looks like that and I just found this set. So I also picked this up for a family member and then I had the tag Crystal Terra in it. Um, my friend here on YouTube and <laughs> because she is a fiesta collector and I thought oh she would love that okay two more items at Goodwill this one is just a letter box it was $2.99 it's in perfect shape and I thought you know what I can do something with that so I'm gonna do something with that <laughs> so I, I paid $2.25 for it just simple, basic, you know, 
just something I could actually put my outgoing, my recycles, recyclable paper in here on my ledge over there on my, my mom zone. Um, because I usually, I've been piling it up there and just sticking it in there. And then when I go downstairs, I just put, toss it in my actual recycling bag. So, um, yeah, excited to have that. I think that's what I'm going to do with it. Okay, you guys, brace yourself. I found my last and I'm not going to say my favorite, but they're all, I love them all. But this was, this is something I, that brought me to tears because it reminded me and it actually looks exactly like my grandfather's, but I found this, my late grandfather's um, vintage metal toolbox. <laughs> I love it. It is so perfect. It's all rusty and chippy. I'm gonna open it up this way so you can see it hopefully. Well, no I'm not because I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's so heavy. But I actually wanna use this as a toolbox. It's, I've had, I had people like um, texting me or private messaging me on Instagram because I always do, when I go to Goodwill, I always do thrift with me's on Instagram. So if you're not, if you want to watch my thrift with me's, go over to Instagram. I do my almost every Thursday or sometimes Wednesday, depending upon when I feel like going. Uh, but um, yeah, I always do thrift with me's, thrift with me's there. But it has the tray, oh goodness, the tray and everything with the divider slot for like your screwdrivers or whatever. Oh, I'm so excited. And the inside is in great shape too. Oh my gosh, I almost went into tears because it just reminded me of my grandpa. Now, I really need to make over my laundry room. I really want to put a pantry closet in there. Um, just to, I, right now I have wire shelvings and I want to just, I don't want to look at the stuff anymore, you know, so I'm going to probably end up buying a pantry cabinet from Lowe's and then um, moving my shelf down a little bit above my washer and dryer and I actually want to use this in my laundry room as a decor piece, a bouncing off piece um, for my laundry room because I keep my tools in there that I use just banging around the house every day, you know? So I am so excited about that piece. I got one more thing from Amazon. It is this Omork brand air fryer. It was sent to me. I love it um, from Amazon. And I have been using it and my kids have been using it almost daily. I have made chicken wings, like hot wings. Oh my gosh. <gasps> <laughs> but I don't make them because you have to fry them and frying them is so bad for you and I didn't even put any oil on them at all and they were just crispy crunchy and amazing I made um, french fries my kids have made french fries they have been making french fries almost daily in this thing and seasoning them up with different spices they've been having so much fun because I won't let them fry french fries I, <laughs> that's you no know, they're gonna get burnt and then last night I made chicken thighs I prefer dark meat <laughs> um, chicken thighs in here and I made them like I would if I fried them if I had some almond flour I would use al almond flour and it would have been keto but I used about you know three quarters of a cup of flour some Old Bay seasoning some garlic salt um, not Old Bay yeah Old Bay you know it's for like seafood but it's so good on chicken try it um, and some other spices. I'll put it down, a link down below that I followed because it was really good. Um, and it fit six chicken thighs in here perfectly. And it was at 370 for 30 minutes. And I, I did, cooked it for the exact same time. I had four more, six of them fit in here. I had 10, I put the other four in the oven. The ones in here were so much better. Oh, so, so much better. The skin was crunchy, the meat was moist, in the oven the skin was still rubbery and that's disgusting. <laughs> and the meat was still moist but it was just the rubbery skin was, it is just so much better in here. So this is the Amork air fryer chicken. Um, I cooked it at the same temperature and time as the oven chicken and you can see there the oven chicken it still actually has some of the flour that didn't, I guess, 
work into the chicken, but you can see it's so much crunchier in the air fryer than it is in the oven. So I would put a link down below in the description box of this air fryer. It was, it has, it's huge. You know, I put six large chicken thighs in there and it fit perfectly. So I will have that link down below for you guys, as well as the tambos if you're interested. But I'm not done. I still have the charity thrift shop to tell you about. <laughs> I only bought two items. I spent $7 all together. And give me a second. I found this quilt. This is, it says it's from Charter Club Luxury, Charter Club Luxury Quilted by Hand. And it's just this, I don't know what size it is. I haven't actually unfolded the, well, I have full, unfolded the whole thing, but um, it's got a tiny bit of yellowing, just a tiny, tiny bit of yellowing in a couple of spots. But I think I can get it out. Um, it like almost looks like somebody spilled something on it, you know, and just let it soak in. So I can get it out. It's in great condition. I don't see any tears or pills or anything. Um, so I'm going to soak it and get this stuff out. I'm really excited about that. It's just nice, heavy duty cream quilt. Ah, love it. Okay. Next thing up is this. This was $5 originally, but it was on the 75% off table. And I didn't know that. The lady that works at the um, charity shop is actually my neighbor across the road. So it's really awesome. Uh, but it's the Old English by Johnson Brothers, made in England. Um, and it looks like this. I'll put it there like that. Let's see. I'm hoping you can see it. But that's really excited. So what did I pay? Like $1.25 for it? So that's pretty exciting. Um, and I, this is just, it's just the colors of my house, man. I love it. <laughs> um, it's, I usually go for like softer, gentler colors in my platters and whatnot, but I have, I really love this one. So I cannot wait. This is going to be used in my hutch, I think, for spring decor. Um, I'm just kind of still wrapping my head around what I want to do for my spring decor, but, um, if I were to keep this, which I'm not because I got it for a friend, but it would look so cute right in front of it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we're finally at the end. <laughs> that was my super exciting to me <laughs> uh, Fun Find Friday haul for you guys this week. Um, I feel like Con Marie is doing us all a favor. All of us thrifty, frugal people anyway. <laughs> uh, now, I just need to get this stuff cleaned up, and uh, I'll catch you later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for my Thrift With Me videos. Like and subscribe for more future Fun, fry, fun Find Friday videos and DIYs on my channel. And I'll thank you all for watching. Mwah. Bye, guys. Let's try that one more time. One more time. Cut. <laughs> okay. And action. <laughs>